I love filament. I love all filament, but without a doubt, my favorite filaments are the rainbows and the gradients and the transitions and the ombres and the co-extrusions. More than one filament in the spool just makes me happy. Today, I wanna to show you about a tool that I'm using to actually create rainbow, multicolor, and gradient filament. So, I'm Courtney, this is Filament Stories. Let's get into it. When I say I wanted to create filament, I didn't want to create it from scratch, like with a filament extrusion line and the, all the base components. I just wanted to take existing filament and splice it together. And there are a couple ways you can do that. So first of all, do you really need to splice filament together into its own cool strand like this stuff here? Because yeah, this is really cool, but maybe you don't really need to do that. So this Bastet cat here is just basically a bunch of color change at layer height. And the same here for these tiny um, teddy bear earrings. So do you need it? Eh, maybe, and it definitely is cool to have. If you're just doing a couple of splices, the Sunlu filament connector, filament connector here, the Sunlu filament connector here is new on the scene. It is about the price of two spools of filament, I believe. And it is the first tool that actually works well. You need just a little bit of training on it to get it to work and then after that you can make splices with ease. However, I wanted to make a lot of splices, a lot of splices, like 80 or 90 of them even for just a small model like this and to do that I needed a bigger batter tool. This is the Mosaic Palette 3, and it is a multicolor printing system that can do up to eight spools of filament, splice the filament together, and send the result out to your 3D printer. And that doesn't have to be any specific 3D printer like the Bamboo Lab AMS or the Prusa MMU because this will work with any 3D printer. And it's really interesting technology, but you might not have heard of it because of the time frame in which it came out. So it's a little bit older. In 2019, the Palette 2 came out and it can do up to four spools of filament. And then in 2021, towards the end of the year, they came out with the Palette 3 that did eight spools of filament. And shortly after that, in 2022, a little company called Bamboo Lab had a Kickstarter and they took the world of multicolor 3D printing by storm. But that doesn't mean these aren't useful for some things. And so I'm gonna show you today how I use it to make cool rainbow filament. I like to say that Mosaic Manufacturing's plan for 3D printing is calculate, splice, and send. Because what they're doing is they're working with the G code and they're looking at what filament comes next. And it's, oh, red. So they're gonna send 55 centimeters of red over to your printer and your printer's gonna start printing. And as your printer gets going in a little bit, it'll get to the point where it's pulled enough filament to get to the yellow. And so Mosaic will splice the yellow in and your printer's gonna keep printing. And 70 centimeters later up, oh, we need to send green and then blue and what have you. And your printer all along has no idea that it's printing anything other than a single color because one strand of filament is coming in. And so Mosaic is preparing ahead and splicing. But we can take advantage of this because Mosaic has to do a lot of splices and they have to have really good solid quality splices because if one breaks, your print fails. And so given the fact that these guys are experts in splicing, we're gonna use that to make our own filament that should be very strong. There are three pattern modes that you can do with the palette. The first one is random and you give it a total distance, like I want 100 meters and I want you to pick segments from 10 meters to 50 meters and just spit out random segments for whatever number of filament you choose. And it'll happily do that and spit it all over your floor. I recommend winding it up with a spool every now and then or you will have a big tangle to undo. Ask me how I know. All right, the second mode is a pattern that is a repeating pattern and that's the one that I like. So in this case, I did the red, orange, yellow, and I did 10 centimeters each, and it just repeated that for, I can't remember how long I did for a while. I think I actually just told it to stop at some point. And you can do that for lots of things. I did the same thing for these cats. I just did all eight and let it go. I think that was 15 centimeters. So you also need to look at what you're going to be printing with the models, because if you're gonna be printing something that has big sections in it, maybe having 10 centimeter colors doesn't make any sense. So for instance, this little um, snake or lizard, you can see the yellow on top, but you really, the layers are sort of lost in him. The colors are really missed. Um, however, this is interesting. These four colors here, we've got red, orange, orange, and yellow. One of these four is not like the other. This one right here is actually the one that's made up of the other three filaments. It's just that it's blended together so much that you can't tell. So 
the final one though is I think one of my favorites and that is radiant and you can only choose two filaments for this but it's going to ask you how much distance do you want so this one you need to know the total amount for your print so these were about 17 meters each so I made 17 maybe 18 meters of filament and then it says what's the minimum and then what's the maximum that you want to have the segments be and you'll notice it starts with a lot of yellow down at the bottom and the yellow gets smaller and smaller and smaller until you get up to the top and it's now the orange is it red yeah the orange so you can do interesting patterns like this and just stuff that's a lot of fun so this is a great tool but what are the pros and cons with it so in summary i absolutely love being able to make custom 3d printer filament from my other filament and have a lot of fun with it so there's some things that you can do here that you can't do with other filament like for instance if you notice the transitions are incredibly crisp i can't tell where it stopped with the yellow and started with the orange i mean look at that even on the bottom it's just so crisp and clean but what we don't have is we don't have the option to do a gradual gradation like you get from filaments that are made like these two from a filament manufacturer is that's just not something that we can do here because we're taking one filament and directly splicing it to the other so that can be a good and a bad i think the biggest negative with this though is the price the mosaic palette 3 is still available it is 799 dollars and for a tool that's going to just splice filament that does not seem to be a good price point so i don't know if mosaic would ever release a product that did just high quality splicing because they certainly know how to do amazing splicing they are the experts in splicing in my opinion so that would be a great tool in the meantime if you are interested you can find them on ebay and sometimes they'll be at um, events and people had one and don't want to use them anymore and in my opinion this is a hidden feature and gem that people aren't taking advantage of so if you can find one and want to get it I'd say go for it if you can get it at a good price because it's a lot of fun and some people I've seen even selling filament that they made on Etsy custom custom colors so in any case I hope you enjoyed this if so give us a like and if you feel like we earned your subscription we'd love to see you for our next video bye